Glad you are watching. Today, you can expect fantastic features and solid steel parametric for Autodesk Inventor. For example, the custom connections feature now allows any number of profiles to be involved in the connection, and AI Connect automatically places connections at all points where the installation situation is identical with just a few clicks. Don't believe it? Just watch the video to the end. Okay, before we can use custom connections automatically, we need to create some, like this frame corner. We start learn custom connection. The dialog expects the selection of the profiles involved. So we select cross beam and end beam and the analysis of the connection is performed. We now see a list of the parts of the frame corner. That is the end plate and all the ribs, which we now select for the custom connection. We don't have any additional cuts here, but there are external parts, namely the lower cord of the haunch and this plate, which we also add. Now we just have to give it a name and we can save the first custom connection to the database by clicking on Execute. We can also easily check the saved connection by showing the custom connection section here in the settings and see that everything worked. Okay, let's move on to the next connection, a splice joint. This is already a more complex connection. At least it has a lot more bolted joints, which we don't want to create manually every time. The steps are exactly the same as before. We start by selecting the profiles. We see all the manual boltings that were placed with solid steel functions and select them. Then of course, we have the components, which are our sheets. I select them from the feature tree so I don't have to rotate the model to get to the sheets on the back. Of course, you can do that in the 3D window as well. Then we can also select a cut feature, which means we now have this body cut in the connection. You can also see it highlighted in the feature tree. I will select this too, which means we now have a manual cut in the custom connection as well. We give it a name again and confirm. Finally, we need a double clip angle connection, which we quickly create as a custom connection. In addition to the cope cut, the connection also contains a rib on the opposite side. So, the whole thing again, in the solid steel tab of course. Learn custom connection, profile 1, profile 2. We select the angle connection and the rib at the top here and of course the cope cut is also shown here and we select it as well. That's it, just name it and execute again. By the way, we showed how to create the connections in general in another video. If you are interested, the link is in the video description, but now comes the part you have been waiting for. Adding the custom connections and of course the AI connection function. I have prepared a small assembly for this. Let's begin with the frame corner. We open the custom connection dialog and select this beam that we want to connect to that beam. Now we select our frame corner from the list and get the preview. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see it better. This looks good. Confirm with execute and the frame corner is inserted. There it is, complete with bolts and ribs. The welded assembly of the column has been expanded and a new welded assembly for the horizontal beam has also been created. We continue with the connection of the two beams. Select custom connection, select the two beams, select the splice joint from the list and execute by clicking the plus. The plus keeps the dialog open, execute closes the dialog. There's our splice joint connection. Quick and easy. So the next corner, here we can add our frame corner again, I'm going to do it exactly as I just showed. We've already noticed that the custom connections are great, and already save a lot of time, but we still have to click a lot, which is a little tedious. Let's take a look at the stage beams. We have prepared the double clip angle connection for this, and we require it four times in this small assembly. This adds up with the size of the assemblies and takes a lot of time. So let's just avoid these repetitive steps with the AI connection feature. Start as usual, select beams, select connection from the list. The preview is there, we already know that. Now we activate enable AI connection below to start intelligent algorithms to analyze the assembly. Identical assembly situations are found and displayed. In this case, the three other points where the stage beams connect to the main beams. We can also turn the suggested connections off and on directly in 3D, so we have full control. Okay, we confirm with execute and all four clip angle connections including the corresponding ribs are inserted. This takes a bit of time. Of course all the editing has to be done by the software as usual. 
However, this leaves us with the pure computer processing time, the time we would otherwise have spent selecting the beams, selecting the connections, in short all the clicking, is completely eliminated. You can also see the inserted ribs from this side. We could of course have used AI connection already for the frame corners, but that was my example of the need for repetitive clicking. The AI connection feature works in assemblies of any size. The procedure is exactly the same. We open the custom connections dialog, select both beams, select the desired connection and check enable AI connection to start the analysis. Okay, now we have the result. I'm going to zoom out a bit. As we can see, all identical installation situations were found, 55 in total. If we had to select them all manually, it would have taken us quite some time. We confirm with execute. In such larger assemblies, you can see why the green arrows are quite big. Of course, you need to be able to see the connection points at a glance even at such a zoom level. You can also see that there are no connections marked for example in the middle. This is correct in this case because beams of different shape were installed there. So this is actually a different situation that would require a separate custom connection to be created. The process now takes a moment, which I have shortened here in the video. How long it takes depends very much on the performance of your computer. Here on my computer it took about 4 minutes in real time, but this is just an office PC, not a CAD workstation. But no matter how slow your hardware is, the AI connection feature will definitely save you a significant amount of valuable time. Well, so far we have looked at custom connections that only involve two beams. In the case of connections such as K-bracing, there are more beams involved, and this works just as well. In the Learn Custom Connections dialog, we select the beam we want to connect to this beam, as we already know. But now we use the selection for additional beams and add the third profile. The rest is the same as before, so we select the manual bolting, the two face cuts, and this sheet as the external part. We give it a name and confirm with execute. There are now three beams involved, but there can be any number in the custom connection. Okay, let's test this new connection as well. Here we have the right situation in a new assembly, which is the I-beam and the two U-shaped beams. In the Create Custom Connection dialog, we specify that this beam should be connected to this one. We select the K-bracing and see that there is now another selection for the additional beam, which is also written as text below. So we do it, this beam is added and we get a preview of the plate. Confirm and the K-bracing including the bolted connection is created as we wanted it. Now you know how custom connections work. Watch the video suggested here to see how to create the typical steel design connections as templates for your custom connections. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.